Once you have your picture transferred, you'll be ready to start carving. So the first thing um, that you'll need will be a carving tool. And you want to start out with a tip that's a size 1. So to figure that out, on the back, uh, I know it's a little out of focus, but on the back here it gives me, it says a little number 1. And you can also tell because the end is very, very tiny. Uh, as you go, you might use bigger tips. There's a three. It says three on the back. It's a little bit bigger. Uh, here's a five. And it's the largest one that we have. It's a really big scooper for um, backgrounds mostly if you have a lot of space. Uh, it'll be similar to a, a paintbrush. You know, you're going to pick the size of tool you need for the amount of space that you're carving out. But we're going to start off with a one. Uh, you could also do a two if you need to. And you're going to start by simply cutting every line that's been drawn. Don't worry about the spaces that are shaded in yet. You're just going to, to carve every line that's drawn. Now to carve with our carving tool, uh, if you hold it sideways, you can see that it kind of sits at an angle. Okay, It's kind of like a shovel, and you want the head of that shovel to always be flat on your linoleum. I don't want to be jabbing down like this. I don't want to be scooping out like this. I want this bottom piece always to stay level. And to do that, you'll be carving kind of at mm, 30 to 45 degree angle across. Just like that. So to get started, you kind of have to, you know, give it a little bit of a, a wiggle push to get in there. But once you get that first cut, you should be able to very easily scoop along each line. Now you do need to be careful. These tools are very sharp and you can definitely be injured by them. So watch where this hand is at. You never want your hand close to the blade. If you can hold it away from the blade or as far away from, po from it as possible, that would be best. Um, especially because some of these tools are a little bit older and if you accidentally cut yourself and you start bleeding, you know, if it's rusty, you might have to go and you know to the doctor and have that taken care of so it doesn't get infected or anything uh, but hopefully that's not the case as long as you take it nice and slow and concentrate on what you're doing paying attention to where you're going that shouldn't be an issue uh, and you can notice especially like where the pieces turn I kind of turn the linoleum more than I turn my hand just because it's a little bit easier to slide that back and forth than it is to change the angle that my my hand is working at. Uh, let me do one more and then I'll show you how deep they are. You do want to be sure that you're cutting deep enough that it's going to make a nice imprint. Okay, look how you refocus this a little bit. Okay, look at the depth of my grooves. Like I can definitely get my fingernail down in there. You can really feel the amount of space there. I'm not carving all the way through my picture by any means, but it is deep enough that there is a nice edge to that. Okay, that's going to be important because you don't want that to fill up with paint when you're printing it. And if it's too shallow, it will. So you're just going to keep doing that, like I said, every line that you have done.